friends welcome back to my channel where I give document mine and my family's journey to uh, financial freedom so if you've been following along you know that I started this uh, channel with an intention of documenting us going through the Dave Ramsey seven steps to a total money makeover if you don't know who Dave Ramsey is Dave Ramsey is this financial guru who has uh, you know created this seven practical steps on how to get out of debt build wealth and build wealth and eventually start giving so uh, we started this journey in fact i came across steve ramsey a while back but i really wasn't focused on this process i just loved his uh, online uh, budgeting app which is the every dollar app i would use it on a regular basis since around 2015 and but sometime later on i started really reading up on him and following him on youtube and i, th I thought this guy is on to something you know his steps the steps that he's talking about and his advice seems quite practical so if you don't know what these steps are i have a whole playlist on where i go in depth on each and every single step but i'll just do a quick refresher here with you today just to go through them so that you um, if you're not aware on what these steps are you can we can do a bit of refresher so I'll be looking at uh, my phone while I go through the steps so according to Dave Ramsey the first step is that you save a starter emergency fund but because he's American it's in dollars he suggests that you save a thousand dollars as your starter emergency fund before you move on to baby step number two and as a family when we started this process or when we decided that we are going to start this process we sat down and we figured uh, what how can we you know make this work in the south african rents and we figured it would be easiest to just convert it to convert dollars to rents and back then i believe when you converted a thousand dollars it would be fifteen thousand rent so we started off by saving that starter emergency fund we started in april and we had completed it by september and obviously the next natural step would be to move on to baby step number two so we quickly moved on to baby step number two which is you pay off debt using what he called the debt snowball with the debt snowball you start off with your smallest debt and you move on to your largest debt using the money that was freed up when you finished paying the debt to pay your uh, second smallest debt and you keep rolling the money uh, to you know so forth and so on until you finish off your debt the third step is to save three to six months of emergency fund. The three to six months emergency fund is you calculate your monthly expenses. If you want to save three months worth of ex uh, three months emergency fund, you will save up three multiplied by your monthly expenses or four months or five or at the highest end, which is six months the baby step number four is once you're done with your three to six months emergency fund you start investing and baby step number five is you start saving up for college if you've got kids to or university if you've got kids who you anticipate will be going to university in the near future um, and baby step number six would be to pay off your house if you are a homeowner and you're still paying your mortgage this is the place uh, the part where you concentrate on paying off your house but if you don't have a house or you're still renting this is a step now where you might want to consider to start saving up for that house payment or buying your house cash i don't know whatever takes your fancy but this is where you focus on you know starting to pay off your mortgage or buying a house now the last step is where now you start to give where you start to give back and you start being generous with the wealth that you have built so um as i've already mentioned this is an update because when we started i did mention that we we're going to try to follow these steps as they are and um i mentioned that we had completed a baby step number one which is to save our start emergency fund and we'd quick uh, quickly started to focus on baby step number two which is to uh pay off debt so when you're in baby step number two 
you don't just pay your minimum you don't pay your minimums on the debt you aggressively pay your debt you try to free up as much money as you can in order to attack that debt as quickly as you can starting with the smallest say for your for example your smallest um debt was your credit card say you were paying a thousand rand for your credit card or say the minimum requirement on your credit cards your credit card was to pay 600 but you figure out ways to free up 400 say by cutting out dstv or cutting out eating out and you manage that you see that out of your monthly expenses you manage to free up 400 rand and you add it to the 600 minimum payment that you're paying towards your credit card which means you're going to finish that credit card quicker because you're not just paying the minimum requirement you're paying a thousand rent you freed up the 400 and you're paying a thousand rent towards this credit card now once you're done paying that credit card uh let's say your second largest debt is a car and you're paying three thousand on your car monthly now remember there's this freed up thousand rent because you're done with your credit card you're going to take that thousand rent and you add it to the 3000 that you're already paying towards your uh, car and now instead of paying just 3000 on the car you are now paying 4000 meaning you will pay this car quicker than you would have mm -hmm. if you didn't start aggressively paying it off so you do that snowball so forth and so on say now your you have another personal loan which maybe you're paying say 5000 and you finish off your car or I don't know whichever comes first whichever was smallest between your personal loan and the car but you generally get the idea say maybe you pay the personal loan first and you freed up some money from that personal loan you will then add it to the car payment so you just go on and on until you finish off paying your debt so that's where my family are that's where we were that we were at you know trying to do the debt snowball and we had already paid 35 percent of all our debt and boom this pandemic hit and during the pandemic unfortunately we saw a loss of income i'm in the hospitality industry and as you will know the uh, hospitality industry is taking a huge knock and there's been so many lo job losses and unfortunately even though i didn't personally lose the job but i lost some income because of uh this pandemic because of the lockdown and we found ourselves in a way becoming a one income household or almost one income household because i still am able to get some form of income but i've lost about 60 percent of the income that i was used to on a month-to-month -month basis so and after that happened we could no longer go on as if you know it's business as usual with you know aggressively attacking debt and i i sat down and i figured and looked at this you know dave ramsey's seven baby steps that we you know were following and i thought what if this pandemic hit and we were done with baby step number two and we were already at baby step number three or what if this pandemic hit and it found us more prepared than we were like we we did have an estate emergency fund but how far can a starter emergency fund really get you when you find yourself losing 60 percent of your income and i said i was like i think we need to personalize this process to to fit our circumstances and we decided you know what i'm sure dave, dave ramsey's process is perfect and it works well but when something like this happens when you the world is hit with a pandemic like it has right now you start to wonder is it not flawed a bit in a way to say the only em uh, emergency fund you've saved is a thousand dollars or fifteen thousand how long is that gonna last you how how far is that gonna take you when you've lost 60 percent of your income and i you know i started thinking what if you know this process this whole process was in a way where you start with the three to six months emergency fund before you start attacking your debt not that we're not going to pay our debt we'll still pay our debt 
but just stick to minimum payments instead of aggressively paying it off and then rather we're going to skip this baby step number two and then focus on building our three to six months emergency fund i feel like that starter emergency fund doesn't really speak to big emergencies where this process i feel like is a bit flawed is what if you're hit with a big emergency what then and i feel like that's one part that dave ramsey didn't really take into consideration he only concentrates on okay i know he says the reason he says you must only save a starter emergency fund is because he wants you not to be comfortable because if you've saved a big emergency fund you'll be comfortable and you won't attack that debt quickly that's his whole whole analogy is that if you'd only saved a small amount of money as an emergency fund you'll quickly try to attack that debt so that you can get to the business of saving the three to six months emergency fund where you now can be comfortable his all analogy is that he doesn't want you to be comfortable yet until you've paid off that debt which i understand but i feel like uh, as somebody who's living through this crisis of the corona or of the covid19 i feel like for our family it would be best if we now focus on that three to six months emergency fund and once that's done then we will attack the debt and that's you know the update because if you've been here before you know that uh, our intention was to follow the steps as they are but i just wanted to come up here and you know give you an up a bit of an update of where we are in this process and another thing is while we try to save because we decided for us because you can save anywhere between three to six I mean you can save three months or four months or five or six so we've decided to completely go all out and save for the six months save the six months worth of um an emergency fund and over and above that six months as if that won't be a huge challenge um, won't be challenging enough we decided to also uh, start saving up what we call a month ahead fund okay so what a month ahead fund is is kind of like a buffer between your three to six months emergency fund and your income so it's something that will give you that much of a buffer if there's one thing that this covid 19 pandemic is taught has taught me is that you can never be too prepared so looking at our lifestyle and looking at you know our dreams and goals we feel like we want to be able to have that buffer in between our income and our emergency fund so we have set a challenge to save both the three to six months emergency fund and the buffer all at the same time wish us luck i don't know how we're going to do it but it's something that we're determined to do obviously through a lot of discipline and um we intend to use the same strategies and principles that we used when we were saving the starter emergency fund i have a video where i share how we did it or how you if you're somebody who wants to save a starter emergency fund how you can do that quickly and i'll link the the video below so yeah that's that's generally where we are now um we are in a process of trying to save that three to six emergency fund and that um month ahead or month ahead fund or the little buffer because we feel like the month ahead thing is we want to be able to be to get ahead of our month if say you pay for your August bills end of July we want to be in a position where we are prepared to even pay for September's bills at any given time so in September when it's time to pay for October's bills we still want to have saved enough to pay for November okay. so it's something that I feel like it will give me comfort um, or be a buffer like I've already said between us and the emergency fund so should anything happen we're not really immediately dabbing into the emergency fund but we have this little buffer in between i'm a firm believer in sinking funds as well sinking funds are you know little pockets of savings that you save up for uh upcoming expenses this is something that you know if you followed along on the channel you know that i'm a firm believer in so sinking funds for example 
I have sinking funds for my kids' birthdays. I've got sinking funds for Christmas. We've got sinking funds for uh, clothing. These are expenses that you know are going to come up in the year. So that when they come, they don't really throw off your monthly budget, but you are prepared for them when they arrive. But because now we have this two major savings that we really want to achieve soon um we're gonna have to make sacrifices with some of our sinking funds we're going to have to reduce some of our sinking funds just so that we don't get too overwhelmed and then set ourselves for failure so a lot of sacrifices are going to have to be made in order for us to achieve these two uh, major goals obviously clothes still have to be bought for kids and Christmas is still coming, but I'm sure like many South Africans, we won't be celebrating Christmas like we generally normally do. So that sinking fund will have to be on hold and bid and Christmas will have to be celebrated on a smaller scale this year. And some more sacrifices around sinking funds are going to be have to be made. When do we plan to achieve this two savings? the sinking the three to six months emissions fund and this month ahead fund to be honest with you i don't want to put uh, a time frame to it yet with the starter emergency fund we had set a, a goal a, a date to say we want to achieve this by a certain time but with this much uncertainty um going on right now in the country it's, it would be really hard to set a goal uh, also because I really don't know when I'll be going back to work I don't I really don't know when my full income will be reinstated so when my full income is reinstated obviously we'll be able to achieve this goal sooner uh, but without so there's still so much um, uncertainty around everything so all we know is that we have these two goals in place but we don't want to set too much pressure on ourselves by putting on a date on when we want to achieve them but we just hope that it will be soon enough uh so that's it i just wanted to come and update i felt like i needed to come and give you an update because if you know from the beginning of my channel the whole aim was to document our you know journey to financial freedom but specifically using dave ramsey's seven baby steps and now that we are going to be davish or took the process a bit i thought that it's only fair that i update and let you guys know where we are or where we're standing now at the moment Thanks again for following along and if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can know when I upload more videos as I intend to be more regular up here or, or upload more uh, frequently than I was in the past. I know that I can you know, come on and off here but I feel I'm going to be more consistent in uploading those videos. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.